Hi guys, welcome back. It's Saturday morning and I'm not that much of a morning person. So I'm still filming, I'm still gonna do this for you guys. Today I am gonna be talking to you about how to clear oily skin in the summer, how to keep your skin nice and matte and poreless and blackheadless and whiteheadless and acne less. We really don't want any of that. We want a nice, juicy, plump skin, but also mattified. My name is Natalie Kingsley Philgrass. In case you haven't watched me yet, I am the founder of the Embassy of Beauty. I like to talk about all things beauty, skincare, the science behind it, the science and the ingredients. If I don't like it, if I don't use it, if I don't understand it, I don't usually talk about it. So if you want to be notified about any new videos, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, please comment as well. Love to hear your guys' feedback. Also, if you have any ideas, let me know, do your thing, and let's get into the three main points about how we're going to tackle having a nice, beautiful, plump, but matte skin in the summer. We're going to focus on three main points. The first point is going to be to purify the skin. So to sebum regulate the skin, more sebum regulation rather than purification. Sebum regulation because the less oil we produce, the less our pores can get clogged, the less whiteheads and blackheads we get, and the less acne can then form. Second focus will be hydration. Hydration is super important. The more we hydrate, the less our skin produces oils. So catch 22, more H2O, less oils, it's the way to go. If one and two don't work, we have the backup of detoxification. So point three will be detoxification. That is going to be to physically or chemically clean out those pores so that blackheads, whiteheads and acne cannot form so easily. So I have curated a few products that I think and I've tested to get the best results for an acne free, oil free skin in the hot summer months when we're sweating a lot. So here we go. Done. Second step, very important step. Have your caffeine. My choice is matcha. I cannot live with this stuff in the morning. Mm. No. Okay, into skincare now, stop talking shit. So, step one is the cleanse. During the summer months, I do not like to overload my skin with acids. I don't know if you've watched my videos, but you will know that I am seriously scared of pigmentation. So, I still use a little bit of acid, but not too much, and the form of acid I use in the summer and have been using for a few months, and it's working out for me, is this baby right here. The Definitive Enzyme Cleanser. It's pricey, but when you hear about what's in this little baby, you're gonna be like, okay, maybe it's worth the price, plus it lasts for ages. It is a powder format, so you can see the powder. You need about that much. And then we're gonna add some water, just a few drops. And then you sort of just mix it up until it becomes a paste. And then we're gonna apply it. What is amazing about this cleanser is the fact that it has alpha hydroxy acids in here. So it has a lot of lactic, a little bit of glycolic, so it's going to exfoliate your skin, but you're washing it off, people. So I love to use this as a morning cleanse because I love to use acids, but I'm always, always super scared of the fact that I'm gonna get pigmentation and I'm washing it off. So I'm not gonna get the pigmentation. You guys know me and my pads, get a large pad out there and now we can just rinse it off. It does remove makeup. It does do all that. And it works like an absolute dream. So it's pumped full of antioxidants. It's got a little bit of acid in there, but it's only on your face for a moment. So it kind of works out. 
it's also got bicarbonate of soda and the bicarbonate of soda is the mattifying effect. So you've got the acids which are purifying slightly your skin and then you've got the bicarbonate of soda which is mattifying your skin. And then why I love to use it as a morning cleanse is because it's also got a huge dose of caffeine. So caffeine is amazing for the skin, especially in the morning, because just like this works on my brain, the caffeine is going to work on my skin. It's going to wake me up. And I need that. I need that help. And it wake up so easy. So it works super well. And then also it's going to, it's anti-inflammatory. So it's going to help with that puffiness in the morning. I love it. I love this cleanser, super easy to use, super light, nicely mattifying, doesn't give you a sticky effect when you're done with it, but also leaves your, your skin nice and matte without it being like tight and dry and really, really uncomfortable. Step one, complete. Step two is going to be the toner. So like I said before, I don't love to use acids that are going to stay on my face. And from our new brand, I have totally fallen in love with, which I've spoken to you guys about before, the Facial Low. So, the Facial Low is all, all about refining the skin without using exfoliating acids. So, what it's got in there is it's got microbiota. So, skin-loving microbiota. So, it's basically like probiotics but for your skin. So it's putting all of the good bacteria in there. So this helps with the skin becoming nice and even and becoming nice and plump and toned and hydrated. It's just giving it all of the good bacteria, just like your gut needs good bacteria to work as well. What's also in here is the succinic acid and the glutamic acid. And this is what I love about this product. These two ingredients are pretty new to the market. And the glutamic acid is fantastic. It's like a hyaluronic acid, so it's super hydrating for the skin. And the succinic acid is the mattifying part. So the succinic acid is sort of like the, I'm going to do this well. So it's like a milkiness, beautifulness texture. Um, so the succinic acid is purifying, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory ingredient. It's very, very, very similar to... Um, salicylic acid, so BHA, without the exfoliating element. So you get all of that acne fighting, acne killing actives and action without the actual fact that it's going to make your skin photosensitive and all of that scary stuff that I always worry about during the summer. So this is my definite choice for the summer months. Beautiful. All right, the next step is going to be masking. So I do, I've literally filmed this on a Saturday because I am not a big masker. I certainly mask maybe like once every couple of weeks now that I don't have any serious skin conditions. But again, from the same line, Ayuna, I have fallen in love with this one right here. It is the balm from Ayuna and it is this beautiful, rich, dark, black gunge which makes you just want to eat it. Maybe not eat it, but I definitely want to like swim in it. Um, it's absolutely stunning. So it's got volcanic glass in there, which is the mattifying and detoxifying element. It's got the oleo europea oil, which is the nourishing element. But guys, it is not comedogenic at all. Like not a bit. It's like their cellular oil. It is not comedogenic at oil at all. Oil all. Not at all. And then lastly, the fermented lactobacillus. So the same as what was in the facial low, they have put it in here again to regulate all of the beautiful bacteria on the skin. So I use about this much, you don't need a lot. And I just love how it detoxifies the skin, but at the same time, makes it nice and juicy. It doesn't dry it out at all. So if you have a seriously oily skin, Maybe this wouldn't be the greatest, but if you just tend to have oily tendencies, 
like me, um, then this is wunderbar, especially if you want to just like clear out those pores, clear out those blackheads a little bit or prevent them from occurring in the first place. This is the way to go. You only need a little bit. Oh, I do need a little bit more. You only need a tiny bit. You don't need to like totally coat your skin. And now I look like I belong in the army. Yours. And there we go. So I usually leave this on for around 10 to 15 minutes. You can leave it for five, but you know me, I like to have a good amount of result from what I'm doing. So I like to, if I'm going through the process of doing a mask, I'm gonna get what I need out of it. So I leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes until it gets dry. All right, the mask has been on for 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna wash it off. It's super simple. You get another large pad or muslin or whatever you guys use. It's also easier if, like all masks, this is why I'm such a lazy person. I don't mask because it's the whole thing of putting them on, taking them off, blah, 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 blah. But it's good for me. So moisten the hands and work it in to loosen the mask up. The next step is going to be serums. So for the serums, we are going to be using a hydrating serum, like I said, super important hydration, and also to mattify the skin and to renew the skin. The mask also, I just want to say, I like to do it at that point because I'm so used to doing it the BR way, but it is totally okay to cleanse, then do the mask, then do your toner. And actually thinking about it, it could, that would probably be the best way to do it, but I've already done it this way, I'm not gonna do it again. So, just to reiterate, you would cleanse with the Definitive Enzyme Cleanser, then you would mask, and then you would use a facial low, and then you would go to this, thing, this step that we're going to now. So don't do it the way that I just showed you, just for application reasons, use it as a reference. So the next step is to hydrate and to re renew the skin, make your skin tone more even and to mattify and to prevent sebum regulation. We are going to be using the Serum Amniotic for hydration and the Serum Isoplacenta to renew the skin. So super easy you can put the, the drop situation i use about that much liquid that just went into my matcha not great and then you just pat your hands together and then just press them into the skin and we have ceramized the very final step in my routine for this one is again Ayuna. I'm falling in love with this brand more and more every day. Is the Ayuna Cream One. So the Ayuna Cream One is a beautiful light texture and the smell of these products are amazing. But don't be fooled by the eco-ness and the zenness and the beautiful smell of these products. These products are powerful. So this specific one um, is very light in texture, which is why I love to use it during the daytime. It isn't going to clog up my pores. It's not comedogenic. It's not particularly mattifying to the skin, but it isn't doesn't make my skin produce more sebum. So my skin remains nice and juicy and doesn't end up tight by that two o'clock sort of time if I do use a mattifying cream. This baby is, just look at how juicy, I'm not going to tip it because it's very liquidy. It's like, I don't know if you can see, but it's super liquidy and the last time I did this, it all flopped and dropped down. I was like, oh my god, what a waste. Um, but this particular cream has amazing anti-aging benefits to it. It's plasma rich in botanical cell factors of pomegranate, which means that it's super great for anti-pigmentation. 
It's also super rich in plasma cell factors, botanical cell factors of Arabian cotton, which also helps to reduce redness, even skin tone. Oh, and the pomegranate also really brightens the skin. And these are all things that I am really, really into. These are all also, by the way, guys, these are epigenetic factors. So these are also reversing what the exogenous factors of aging have done to you. So it's like La Grande Creme, but instead of the 700 price tag, you have this price tag. And then it had the reverse aging, which is the peptidic fractions. Um, and it's just, it's just amazing. This is a seriously anti-aging, amazing smelling, amazing texture. I'm gonna put it on my hand actually, so you guys can really see. Look, look at that. Oh yeah, isn't that sexy? Look at that. Look how thin and juicy it is. And it's just gonna evaporate, but it's gonna leave you with a slight veil. Just an ever so slight one. Then you dab. I tend to use a lot more of this because I get really confused with how light it is. Oh, but just putting this on, I just love it. Oh, God. I will never get over this smell. I will never get over this product. All of these smells of all of these Ayuna products, I am just absolutely loving at the moment. Guys, that is it for my oily tendency skin routine for the summer. If you liked it, like I said, guys, please subscribe, like, comment, let me know your thoughts. If you have any favorite products, I would love to know about that. So for now, I'm done. Do your skincare, it makes you happy. It certainly makes me happy. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.